to give you some sense of scale, eh, we use a crane to assemble a crane to assemble a crane. It's really difficult for people to understand if you're not here or not on site how big it really is. Oh, this is very, very big. Yeah, you can see it as well. The main mast is 170 meters long. It is massive. In November, we start in Breda with uh, assembling uh, the parts, like the, the parts that are welded. In May, we move to Westdorp. It all starts with, with getting the site prepared, uh, having enough space, then uh, make the ground preparation. In this case, uh, we have uh, a very decent yard where uh, we only need sand bed underneath the, the load spreaders. After the load spreaders, you will have the skid shoes, the, the bases. That's when you start dress up the base frame normally with all the electrical cables, hydraulics. The control room platform, winch beams. Then we continue with one group on the main mast, one group on the back mast. And the ballast will be uh, erected. Then for us the most work starts, the, all the hydraulics, all the cables that needs to go in. It's just the small things, all the sensor, the angle sensors, the, the end switches. That's where for us the, the difficulties are. We are getting prepared for uh, the backmast lift. We will uh, assemble a 1250 ton frame and that we need to lift the backmast of the SK6000. To give you some sense of scale, eh, we use a crane to assemble a crane to assemble a crane. Uh, I'm very happy for uh, it's uh, almost almost finished, uh, nearly uh, boom up. Yeah, when we're ready to boom up the, the main boom, it will take like uh, two days. We will have a period of uh, functional testing of all systems. Once that's done, then we will start load testing, uh, have a series of, uh, of 12 different tests we need to do to, do to get the certification. Our team on site consists out of people all over the world. Our uh, SK supervisor from Thailand, Ramon, he was uh, already involved in SK1. We start uh, the SK uh, 2008 when we start uh, building in uh, Breda. So 15 years ago I met him for the first time. I'm really happy with uh, coming back together again. He knows the crane from, uh, from the smallest bolt on the skid track to, uh, to the topping unit. It's really great to have such a team uh, that's dedicated for the SK6000 and really want to make this to a success. <laughs>